yeah. can actually uh, chase you down. So that definitely gives him a little bit more of that breathing space. And of course, even more crowd control. That's definitely going to be something useful towards the kit of Onik Esports. Definitely, definitely. It's going to be a pretty interesting se uh, session here. Faraz, uh, I mean, you want to Randy Orton? He he's he, he just came out now. We got to watch out for him, you know? <laughs> this is, I mean, honestly, I, I like Onyx lineup. I mean, they, they've got a very sustainable lineup. They got the Uranus, they got the Tamos, they got the Atlas, which is going to be really hard to kill. And Link, you can't even get him. Like, it's going to be, I, I feel like it's going to be a very slippery sort of team. Because Atlas as well, we know one of the tanks that is very hard to get. I mean, with a second skill, he can basically run away mm -hmm. really quickly. Uranus, you can't catch him. He can be really fast with his ulti. Just and pain in the butt. Yeah, I know, right? So I, 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 what about you guys? Mm -hmm. well, I think that Alter Eagle does have some slight edge, but uh, we got to wait and see. Personally, I like Alter Ego. Alter Ego's composition way, way more because I feel like on Esports, their composition right now just so lacks the damage. Like, Link can do a lot, yes, sure, but once his energy is down, he yep. don't have that much time. He's in, out, that's it. Yeah. That's true. And uh, it seems that we are actually finally into our first game of the day. Just hyping it up a little bit to give you guys more energy as if we have a live crowd in front of us. Gideon, Conta, this is going to be our match number one. Let's get it started. All right. Right, of course, uh, we've already seen a couple of uh, seconds already on the clock uh, being played out while well, there's still no kills whatsoever as Anthony. Want to go in for that end bait, but Cassius is just chasing him off while Sailor Boy is just getting all that gold that he needs. And this is what you need to do as the, you know, uh, as the Uranus. You're trying to proxy the waves as much as you can. Get a lot of priority. Pull attention towards the bottom side of the map. On Esports, they delayed their buff. They delayed their red buff for now. They wanted to make sure that Alter Ego didn't try to do anything cheesy with the jawhead and that eject because that really hurts the team if you're not careful. Well, uh, uh, they are playing safely from both ends, but uh, I, I do have a, a point that you brought up earlier where <laughs> uh, you know, there's a lackluster of uh, hard hitters coming from the Onyx team for side. And among you, some of all these sort of tanks still needs quite a number of gold to actually get up on their chasing over an anti mage right now. Oh, yeah. And, you know, this is very typical uh, of the uh, hyper carry meta where they actually want to focus on getting the carries down on the opposite side of the lane and then target to punish, especially punish the side laners here. So, Uranus, he just has to back away. Play it safe, but this allows Ling on the top side to get a little bit more farm. Yeah, of course, uh, he's just killing uh, off a couple of camps as well as he can, but he just kind of know what's up. He's already spot out Rissy for a little bit, and there will be a little bit of uh, that sort of a contest up to where it pops up. Well, Malzi can't really do all too much to be setting it up, but he's going to dive right through, clearing all the way, and tries to actually cost a little bit of disruption to side of Sasha. Yeah, and you can already see CW already with the Blade Tempest. Can he get Sails here? Yeah, yeah, Sails is gonna die. First Sully, boy, just has to watch. He can't really do too much with Leo Morphe. He's trying to look for somebody, doesn't get the ejector off of the CW. But now, he might be in trouble here. He's gonna be the one instead going down. My, oh my. Beautiful pull off coming in and Flicker being popped there by Romichi. This will definitely cost the side of Alter Ego to suffer a little bit more as Monty tries to actually look for his escape. As anti mage hops Turtle over, resurrecting that will soon. be pretty much a good deal for the side of Onyx, nonetheless. And you know, we saw the stats just now. Don't Onyx Esports money. very evidently look to get the first bloods as soon as possible. And Don't I think this is money. a perfect example why. They go for the quick rotations, they look for pick potentials within the first three minutes of the game. Not a lot of teams want to do that, Don't especially with a lineup that doesn't have that sort of, you know, hard hitting damage. Yeah, I definitely think that uh, with that being said, they might actually contest this one. That will be that sort of flick uh, coming in, but it will still be out there. Eagles turtle to for picking it. Sasa gets low to pieces. As we see this team fight erupts, the perfect tap is into two, and we are looking at Rassi trying to actually go for that case. And now, Sally Boys are getting a little bit more room for himself, and that's definitely gonna be two kills for a side of Onyx. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be a two for one trade that not exactly the best, especially for Onyx Esports. But I would say, you know, Alter Ego definitely bunks. He, he played that quite well. He absorbed quite a bit of pressure and kind of forced the Link to get on top of him at the, at the very end there because they knew he was doing too much damage. You can see Rumichi down on the bottom side here as the X Borg here. It's pretty, like, 
I would like to say that Onyx Esports, in the earlier stages of the game, they've got some like pretty strong picks, you know? They have a lot of high base damages, they can fight very, very early. However, the longer these fights go, Leo Murphy is just gonna get better and better. Exports can get better and better. And here, potential dive? No, it doesn't look like it, but they are setting up for it for the side of... Uh, for the side of AE, they are rotating down. They know the buff is up, but are they going to contest it? Well, they're definitely taking a couple of camps off, but I don't think that they will be able to actually secure that ring off. Instead, they will take down that turret as we see Tough Boy just uh, makes a little bit of a swift escape. It's hopping off over the wall as they might be able to actually uh, find a little bit room for them to actually catch some of the watering inside of the jungle once again. Oh, Rassi is going to be holding it off while Onyx breaks one turret off the top side. Mm -hmm, yep, and you can see CW again. He is needing a lot, a lot of gold. And you mentioned this before that, like, you know, a lot of the members require quite a bit. And you can see CW, he doesn't really want to take any of these fights, not when it's not on their side of the map. Udil has taken quite a bit. The injector coming through. Play Tempest! They're trying everything they can. The last insanity comes out from Alter Ego. They get a pretty good kick, but Antimate's in the back line, making sure that nobody low is going to survive. Ramichi is going to go down to the tower at the very end, but he takes out Nana in the process. Sasa pulling it through with the vengeance. He's holding on. He holds with the all. It's not enough as he pulls out through Sully Boy. Still holding very, very strong. The Battle Mirror image is going to come out real soon, but Anti Mage quickly pops a Consecration out of there. A okay. Wow, what an engagement coming in, coming from the side of Onyx Esports, but it did backfire. Like, we understand the whole idea where we saw Atlas just pulling everyone in towards that Tempest, but of course, they can't really find a way to cast over on that clock, and Sally Boy did punish them. Yeah, really nicely done here. You know, I think the, I think what we have to commend Onik is the positioning of Just where their fighters the are. Even though if they take a full front to front, there is no way that Alter Ego can actually you know, follow up when Lin goes into that backline because Valir is just like, nah, stay back every single time. And uh, of course, uh, we saw a little bit of messy fights and another one erupting towards the side of the lane once more. CW hops off and last and sadly will be popped there by Ramichi. So he's going to be uh, hovering all over the map until he gets back his Viraga armor for now. But just look at that. A lot of them, you know, the main members are getting very, very far ahead. You can see the gold lead in the Alter Ego. 3k so far. It's not a big deal, but... Uh, it's, sorry, 2k so far. It's not a big deal, but look at the control over the map. Mid tier 1 is gone. And that means Alter Ego has accessible left and top and bottom side of the jungle. Yeah, and uh, I just love how Alter Ego actually uh, takes so much of that sort of uh, control all over the map. Like, uh, you put the Esmeralda down below, nothing that Uranus can even do about it. And now, speaking of which, they're diving over an enemy. Mm -hmm. And Monty, he's going to be running over an enemy. Like, there's nothing he can really, really do here. He's just pulling attention to himself. But at this point in time, since Alter Ego already have mid and top tier 1, bottom tier 1 is going to be the next on the top of the block. Yeah, I mean, uh, the rest of members like Leo Murphy as well as Ramirez was just buying a little bit more time. So, um, take, take the kills, take the towers, break everything that they can get. This is what we talked about before we even get into the drafts. They are so heavily focused on towards objectives and structure mm -hmm. that it's not even funny. Like we saw Onyx taking a couple of leads and now it didn't really mean much anymore. Yeah, Alter Ego are just following the textbook to the T. It's really nicely done and I think Onyx, they were really slow on that. Bam, one guy is basically out of the fight while you all run away. As we get back into the game, I can talk about this a little bit more. It, it becomes really, really scary here, but I think two big factors that Onyx like, it's very dependent on individual play, is Atlas and Ling. Both of these heroes need to play at their top performance and find a very, very good angle to engage on all the ego here. Yeah, no, of course, uh, Anti-Mage is just uh, uh, causing a little bit of the disruption and pulling so much attention away from the members of Alter Ego, but I'm not oh. sure if he can last any longer from here. Oh no, he's already getting cut down here. Uh, if, if we could see the items at some point, because look at Sully Boy's damage, I'm pretty sure he's already finished up the Demon Hunter's sword. My guess is that he's very close to finishing up there his golden staff. Might even have it already. Yeah, I think that uh, by this point on, uh, they might be able to actually achieve uh, their second items uh, in, in that sort of sense. And if we do look at how Onyx Esports is actually finding a way to pull back, is just depending on how Uranus uh, just pulls off everybody and he tried to uh, perhaps get one objective after another, which is honestly not a bad idea, but uh, it's going to cost the Uranus so, so much. Yeah, and 
I mean, you know, it is a Uranus after all, so he doesn't need a lot of gold to be useful in in most situations, honestly, because of his base stat. But now they get a huge hit. Oh my goodness! I mean, yes, it is a tank drop to phase check, but ah, it's so frustrating when you do walk in. He didn't even have a second or an ability to get out of there. But now Mumsy has to deal with CW here right now. And because of that red buff, there's no way Mumsy can win. So the rest of the take another tower. Also, Ego just looking prime time Lord to win this game. Seems like a walk in the park for out of the Elder Ego animation pops right through. Trying to actually look for some damage. But oh, that first over is out of Sally Boy. And it's going to uh -oh, be CW uh -oh. on a hunt. And he will not be able to do the Tempest at all as Asmara will slay him down. And now the Lord will be up for the taking. And this seems like a freebie for Alter Ego. Yeah, that was so, so good. Did you see Leo Murphy? He was like getting ready. Like, I know he wants to go for Sully Boy. He quickly goes for the Injector. The Flame Stokes were preemptively thrown down because he knows that, oh, if he lands the Injector, the Flame Stokes will chain perfectly into it. And Sully Boy, he's huge. He's got the Golden Sock. He's already level 15, 10 minutes into the game. Let's see the items here. Jungle item, endless battle, Golden Staff. Oh my goodness. This is, it's going to be impossible to deal with him now. He's just too big. Yeah, and uh, I got to say that it's all thanks to smart drafting coming in from the side of Alpha Ego. They knew this was about to happen on uh, any sort of the, uh, commotion that they do face. That's definitely going to draw it on the front line to make sure that that does not cause any harm to Bonzi or even Skelly uh, in Okay, here might be the engagement coming in from Onik. They need to make something happen here. Lord is already walking through. It looks like Alter Ego is trying to get one more. anti Mage gets chunked out pretty hard. Can they get another inhibitor turret here? That would be a huge profit for Alter Ego. Oh, it seems like uh, they might just be able to do oh. so. anti Mage falling so low. They're looking to actually slam it all the way over us on the Monty. And this might just be them just crushing up Onik as they will break down the final few turrets left. And anti mage can only look and not defend what's about to come. Yeah, I think this is game over here for, uh, for the rest of the team. It looks like Onyx the Esports, they just got outdrafted completely. And just the early game, even though it kind of looked pretty, pretty good for uh, initially, especially for Onyx the Esports. Uh, subscribe! Uh, subscribe. Para na sa Instagram. Skin giveaway. Skin giveaway. Skin giveaway, guys. Ah.